hello students in this video i would like to discuss about the quadratic forms and reduction to canonical forms reduce to x1 x2 plus 2 x1 x3 minus 2 x2 x3 to a canonical form by orthogonal reduction and also discuss the nature of the quadratic form now we are given g of x equal to x transpose ax where x is x1, x2, x3 and a is equal to since x1 squared, x2 squared and x3 squared are missing in the quadratic form the principal diagonals take the value 0 the position of x1, x2 will be 1 and x2, x1 will also be 1. x1, x3 will take 1. x3, x1 will take the position 1. And the position of x2, x3 will be minus 1. And x3, x2 will also be minus 1. Now to find the eigenvalues. We have determinant of a minus lambda equal lambda equal to zero, which implies minus lambda cube plus zero lambda squared minus minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 lambda plus minus 2 equal to 0 that is minus lambda cube plus 3 lambda minus 2 equal to 0 which implies lambda equal to minus 2 1 and 1 the eigenvectors are solutions of a minus lambda i into x equal to 0 lambda equal to minus 2 implies a plus 2i equal to 2 1 1 1 2 minus 1 1 minus 1 2 using row transformation We get the echelon form to be 1, 2, minus 1, 0, minus 3, 3, 0, 0, 0. a plus 2i into x equal to 0 
implies x plus 2y minus z equal to 0 minus 3y plus 3z equal to 0 z equal to k implies y equal to k this implies x equal to k x equal to minus k so we have x equal to minus k k k which is k times minus 1 1 1 So we have x1 equal to minus 1, 1, 1. Now a is 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 0. Now lambda equal to 1 implies a minus i equal to minus 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. So a minus i will be equivalent to minus 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Therefore, a minus i into x equal to 0 implies minus x plus y z equal to 0. y equal to k1 z equal to k2 this implies x equal to k1 plus k2 so x is k1 plus k2 k1 k2 so x can be written as k1 times 1 1 0 plus k2 times 1 0 1 now x1 is minus 1 1 1 x2 is 1 1 0 and x3 is 1 0 1 now x1 x2 the inner product is 0 inner product of x1 x3 is 0 inner product of x2 x3 is not 0.
now let u equal to 1 1 0 and u 2 equal to 1 0 1 now to reduce u1 and u2 to orthonormal vectors now we apply the gram smith process so v1 is u1 v2 is u2 minus u2 v1 or in a product of v1 v1 into v1 so this will be 101 minus in a product of u1 u2 will be 1 divided by in a product of v1 with v1 will be 2 into 1 1 0 this will be 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and 1 so let v2 equal to 1 minus 1 and 2 So we have x1 which is minus 1 1 1 v1 which is 1 1 0 and v2 which is 1 minus 1 Now these are orthogonal vectors, so we require orthonormal vectors. So inner product of x1 with x1 will be 3 inner product of v1 with v1 will be 2 in a product of v2 with v2 will be 6 so norm x1 will be root 3 norm v1 will be root 2 norm v2 will be root 6 so p will be minus 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 0 1 by root 6 minus 1 by root 6 6 now transpose is equal to p inverse p inverse a p equal to t therefore p transpose a p equal to t if x equal to then x transpose a x will be p y transpose a y that is equal to y transpose p transpose a p y that is y transpose d y So 
so g of x will be y transpose minus 2 1 1 into y which will be if you choose y to be y1 y2 y3 we get minus 2 y1 squared plus y2 squared plus y3 squared so canonical form of 2x1 x2 my plus 2x1 x3 minus 2x2 x3 is minus 2y1 squared plus y2 squared plus y3 squared where y equal to x since there is one negative eigenvalue and two positive eigenvalues the quadratic form is indefinite.